When you click Show Wind Heat Map, we show you clusters of wind reports and high wind readings from personal weather stations. Here's what the heat map looks like on the map. These purple blobs are either NOAA wind reports or wind gusts 40 miles an hour greater from local personal weather stations. These brown markers represent NOAA wind spotter reports and are displayed when you select Show Wind Spotter Reports from the Map Options dropdown. The remaining purple heat map signatures are greater than 40 mile an hour wind measurements from personal weather stations. So these are NOAA wind reports and these are 40 mile an hour or greater wind gusts from personal weather stations. Now let's take a look at the heat map when zoomed out. Notice that the purple heat map signature clusters turn yellow, or hot if you will, the further you zoom out. With a heat map, you can quickly spot concentrations of severe wind, and you can then scroll day to day to see each day's wind at a glance. Now let's look at how to see the wind readings from the individual personal weather stations. Click near any heat map signature and then click Wind Observations. You'll see a scrollable list of nearby wind measurements. Each wind reading is from a different weather station, and when you click on the station ID, we take you to the Weather Underground website where the wind reading and its location are confirmed. So get started by clicking Show Wind Heat Map to quickly visualize clusters of wind gust measurements. Give us a call if you need assistance.